the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The veteran Matt Bryant set to rock and roll, and we are underway here on EA Sports. This fielded at the two. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Throwing on third and long. Cunningham. And it's complete. Henry. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. A third down gain of 19. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. That one goes for 24 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Draws a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if he's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. The tackle made by the Hall of Famer, Bobby Bell. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. On second down, Eckler. And an alley to run. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Running on first down, Eckler. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. Wow. That ball is not free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Now Snell. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 
Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. We're scoreless after one. Get ready, get ready. First down is Murray. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. It's Eric Harris who picks it. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Throwing again, Cunningham. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there, so that'll bring up second and nine. To throw on second down, Cunningham, and caught by Henry. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Cunningham to throw. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver, and it's third down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. I'm coming, I'm coming. Cunningham. And that will be incomplete. Denzel Ward, pro bowler as a rookie, there to bat that one away. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Now a chance to take advantage of that missed field goal. First and 10, way up at the 37. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Murray throwing on second down. And his throw is incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. On 
A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game, and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and 10, here's Murray. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Draw play. It's Eckler. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, after a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you really tighten everything that you're doing in the game. A throw over the middle, taken in. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Throwing is Murray on third down. He finds Beckham complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 32-yard line. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. It's Eckler again. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. He's getting out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. To throw on third down, Murray. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Murray and company going for it on fourth. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. Now a 
first down throw, Cunningham. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands and let him work his way upfield with a catch. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Cunningham. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there and it's second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. There he goes, left side. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. He sets to fire deep, and that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Well, I guess that answers the question whether or not they want him throwing it again right away after throwing the pick six on the previous drive. Yeah, not something conservative or underneath. Pretty big shot right there. Got him right back in the saddle and said, go ahead and sling it, big guy. Trying to lay one up deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He'll take it at the 42. A great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And the Saints will have a short field in front of them. They take over here, first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll try the right side with Eckler. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, put a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. A give, Eckler running to the right. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. Now a toss play to Eckler. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. 
Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by Bryan is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Bryant now, after hitting the field goal, gets set to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brian Burns, his second sack of the night. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Now the throw pulled in by Anderson. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. Scoring has really been at a premium. And, Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. Here is Eckler. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. His carries tonight, they're getting up there. So maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Yeah, understandable okay. every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling. So they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward. Keep and okay the on, on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They'll try to pick up the first yeah, add with Eckler. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Saints are going to boys and girls. How's y'all day going today? It would be really easy to say that they are firmly controlled right now, but I'm looking at your face. I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. It's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try to put point. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. 
In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Off play action, it's Cunningham. Now a desperation throw deep. Oh, this is taken in, it's complete. The 30, the 20, 10, 5, and all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Kenny Galladay, 95 yards, and the Ravens get a bit closer. Sup, boys and girls? Wait, why you is there only understand situational one football girl Because here. they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender Are has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Right, and a few kneel downs should right. just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a night, of 16 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Eckler in on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. The hell is the Illuminati? And and you'd have to figure just about all 11. Probably mm -hmm. crashing the line. You said here. what? On the ground, it's Eckler. And he's going to have to you said Illuminati? And take his lumps here at this stage of the what game. What the hell is this they Illuminati? Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. You don't see me in your nightmare, son. You on third down, here's Eckler. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Talking about so or so or whatever. You're, you're, like you're, handing out, you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but, yeah, I, but, but I, I, I just like joined to this. With this though. You say one to I represent like, yeah. like the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a game ball, and you get a game ball. Game balls for everybody. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.